And now for the championship final of the men's 100 butterfly. Ricky, the meet record in this event set last year by Joseph Schooling in 44.62. The team record and NCA record 44.01. I mean, we could potentially see both tonight. I, I don't think it will happen on the 44.01 side for the team record, but I definitely think 44.62 is in jeopardy tonight. I think it is too. He, Joe had a great, great 50 last night. Uh, he wasn't that quick on the 200 medley relay on the butterfly split, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what he tosses in this. And in lane one from TCU, we have John Smith. In lane two from Texas, Max Holter. In lane three from Texas, Jack Conger. In lane four from Texas, Joseph Schooling. In lane five from Texas, Will Glass. In lane six from Texas, Brett Ringgold. In lane seven from TCU, Garrett Hills. And in lane eight from West Virginia, Jack Frazier. This is gonna be a show in the middle, middle of the pool. You got Jack and Joe, keys for Jack. Jack's just gotta get out. He's gotta get out with Joe. Um, he's a tuner flyer, he can get home. But Joe's gonna be out fast. He was out when he went 40.01, he was out in 20.4. Wow. So look to them be out in 20 point. And there's that fast twitch start again. I mean, it's incredible. You see those two have already separated themselves. Wow. <laughs> and you got two best dolphin kickers in the world right here. 9-2 to the 25 there on Joe Schooling. And they're staying underwater, and they're both getting after it. These guys, these guys want to beat each other. 20.45 on Schooling to the 50. Ricky, that is right on what you said. Right on what it was. He Tom might Shields do this. The 43.8, he was out in 20.5. He just got to get home, got to get home. It's going to be very close here. Again, the time to watch for 43 84, 44 01. Look at Jack coming home. Look at Jack coming home. 44 0. 44 06 on schooling for a new meet record just off his NCAA written team record of 44 01. Jack closed like a shot there, Ricky. It doesn't really reflect it in that split, but that second 50 for Jack was incredible. At 44.56 for Jack to come in second, and in third, Brett Ringgold of Texas in 46.32. Those are two fast swims for right now, two fast swims. And you know, Caleb Dressel has the fastest time in the country right now from SECs at 44, uh, two or 44. Yeah, 44.21, I think, yeah, 44, from 21. Caleb Dressel. So Joe's got to be happy to beat his old Bulls his old swimming teammate. <laughs> teammate, exactly. And those guys, they want to go one, two at NCAAs. They want two, and you, got, you also got um, Will Glass, that was in lane five there, who will be much faster to win some like championships. Definitely. And now down to Macklin on deck with our champion, Joe Schooling. All right, we're here with uh, Joe Schooling. Butterfly Big 12s. You're just off your NCAA record with a 44.06. Walk me through that race. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the first, first 50 felt fine. I think I started hurting off that last wall. Uh, Kind of jammed it a little bit and didn't really have much coming back in the legs, but 44 0 that's six tenths faster than what I went last year. Oh, I'm happier that. Yeah, so you were out 20.45 at the 50, which is faster than you were last year at NC2As. So once you get your legs back, once you get that taper in you, what are we looking at at NC2As? Uh, hopefully 43 3, 43 4. Uh, I was 44 6, ended up going 44 flat, so if I can drop six, seven tenths. Hit my taper right, I should be around in that ballpark. 